look in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, let me tell you something that's going to blow your mind. I'm going to let you know, and I got to be careful how I say things because of YouTube guidelines. But today, you're going to learn how you're supposed to beat it up. How you're supposed to tear up the 304 coochie. And I'm going to tell you how. And I'm going to give you, you know me, if I say it, it's going to be factual. If you watch my show, I have that, um, data, facts, and statistics. It's going to show you how every woman outside of black, every ethnic group of women, but we focus on black today too, and anyone, how they really want you to beat it up. It's not a mystery. People in the streets know how to do it, but a lot of you don't. So allow me to go ahead and get started. One second as I pull it on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to pay close attention to what she's about to say. Kendra G, I met a man who treats me the way I always wanted. He's there for me and my three kids, and he even helps me out with bills. But the problem is, the sex is horrible. It's really bad. I have tried to enjoy him, but I just can't. My baby daddy puts it down, but he is for the streets. Bingo. Now, she found the good man. There's so much to unpack there, but let me go ahead and get to it. Okay? She found a good man, she says, right? But the good man can't put it down like the baby daddy because the baby daddy is for the streets the baby daddy is the pookie the baby daddy is the nook nook and the ray ray that is what you're finding out right here you see even though she said he's a great guy you may be a good guy you may be a nice guy but in the bedroom a woman doesn't want you to be a good guy she doesn't want you to be a nice guy she don't want nice guy dick what she wants is gangster dick with the pookie thrust that's what she wants now, what do I mean by that with the pookie thrust? I'm talking about aggression. I'm talking about taking charge. I'm talking about not asking her what she wants. She doesn't want to have to explain to you how she wants her body to get rocked. She doesn't want to have to teach or guide you. Now, of course, you may figure out more things down the road or what she may like as you get to know her more. But majority of the time, she wants you to bring her fantasy into existence. Why do you think pookie is winning over some of you guys it ain't because they got more money it ain't because they got more swag sometimes it's because they know how to lay wood they know how to lay the pipe and a former game banger like myself and many of you or former game bangers and former um drug dealers or whatever it may be you know when you had somebody else's woman somebody else's wife somebody else's fiance somebody else's girlfriend that when you got a hold to them you wore that ass out you took no mercy, no prisoners on that coochie. Now, what you're going to find out, and what I found out in my life, when you are sleeping with somebody else's woman, and I'm not encouraging that at all. I'm just giving you my life experience. When you are sleeping with someone else's uh, woman, you will discover that she does things for you that she will not do for the next man. You know why? Because sometimes the other guy is too timid to ask her, I mean, to do it. So when you are a pookie, a Ray Ray, a Nook Nook, game banger, drug dealer, you don't ask for permission when it comes to the bedroom. What do I mean? You take full charge. Some of you guys do stuff like, Hey, baby, let me ask you, do you mind if I, for example, um, if we do anal, anal? And she'll say like, no. Or she'll say, maybe. So you won't do it because you don't have the confidence enough to do it because she doesn't seem too sure about herself. Now, you take a pookie, a Ray Ray and a Nook Nook, he won't ask. What he's going to do when she's bent over, he going to try to run it up in the butt only three things gonna happen she gonna tell him to stop she gonna tell him to um go ahead and do it or she gonna tell him slow down ease it in you get what i'm saying because he's taking charge in every part you sex has nothing to do with making love okay i'm gonna show you all this stuff but i gotta say this stuff sex has nothing to do with making love making love is all the things that come that is non-sexual what i mean when you spend time together, when you're going places together, when y'all crack silly jokes together, when you're at home watching Hulu or some other streaming service, when you're um, you know, getting to know each other and stuff like that, going to the mall and stuff like that, it's the time spent, okay? Because sex has nothing to do with love. Animals have sex. And you know, if a man has a woman and he sleep with other women, he's not emotionally 
attached to them. He don't love them. Or a man who doesn't have a woman, he can, he can sleep with a woman and there's no love there, no e emotion. And very few women can do that too. They can sleep with a man on one night stand and have no love there. Sex is only for pleasure and for procreation. You don't let these women tell you that uh, making love consists of sex. That's a lie. You can't tell me everyone that you slept with, you was in love with. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's not making, that's making love, all those non-sexual things. But when it comes to the bedroom, you got to give them that gangster dick with the pookie thrust. I'm, I'm telling you what you got to give them. All right. So let me continue with what Kendra talking about. I just want to show you that first. Oh, I'm going to have a good show for you today. Damn it, I got a good show for you today. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get back to it. He literally has two other women pregnant right now, and I know he's no good for me, but because we have three kids together, I know I can always sleep with him, even though I know he'll never be in a committed relationship. My The fact that the woman says that she knows that she can still sleep with that baby daddy, even though she with another man, tells me that she has already done it or intend to do it because of the wood. The wood is good. Pookie is hitting the hell out the coochie. He got three or four baby mamas already, and he's for the streets. He's a dusty dude, okay? But she compares him to the good man saying that I got a good man who pays all the bills. He's everything I want and more, but the sex is whack. And then she starts to compare him with the Pookie who is a terrible man, but the sex is good. This is why I keep telling you, lady, the best thing for you to be is a virgin until you get married. Because if this woman had never had sex with Pookie or never had sex with any man in her lifetime, the type of sex that she is complaining about from the good man would feel as if it's the best sex she ever had because she would never have anything to compare his sex to. She wouldn't have no man to compare him to. She wouldn't be able to compare this other man's anatomy to another man's anatomy or how this man bends her over to how that man bends her over if she stayed virtuous and remained a virgin. When you have, like I did my video um, yesterday, I, I talked about this, about women who don't want to be virgins no more. When you give up your virginity and have so many sexual partners, it's, it's, it is impossible for a woman to fully pair bond unless you hit every mark. Every check off everything on the list, then you can. But you got a great man right now that you complain about because his thing ain't good to you. Or if it's too little. If you never had sex before, it would be no such thing as a little penis to you. It would feel just right to you. Your walls will be snug enough to grip it. The thing is, you don't have your walls blown out the water like a damn ship that's been attacked by a missile. That's the reason why you're complaining. Ladies, Remain virgins. And to the women who are virgins who watch my show, stay a virgin until you find your husband. Be encouraged in that. Don't let the world tell you to be a hoe. It, it, it backfires. Let's keep going. Never be in a committed relationship. My current guy is always talking about our future. He's always talking about marriage. And I know he will make a great husband. But I'm just not sure I can deal with terrible sex for the rest of my life. And there isn't much to be done because he is not all that big, for lack of better words. What should I do? Do you see? <coughs> Pardon me. A lot of this is because you're, you're sleeping around at an early age. You're having non-marital sex, premarital sex, which is making it difficult difficult for you to be satisfied sexually by a good man or a bad man. You could be a bad with a bad man and he, he don't hit it right to you because you had a different bad man who hit it better. So, like I said, gentlemen, now I'm going to put on the screen for you, gentlemen. It's going to blow your mind. And ladies will agree with this, too. Over, oh, let me play it. Over half of all the women you ever known on this planet want you to give them the gangster dick with the pookie thrust. Let me prove it to you. One second. Make sure it's on the screen. All right, I'm going to read this to you. I didn't bring my glass. Damn it. Anyway, here we go. Now, it said over about 80% of those with a current sexual or romantic partner engaged in rough sex with them and most who engaged in it liked it loved it now it also said bisexual women reported greater rough sex frequency and enjoyment 54.1 percent indicated enjoying it very much implications for sexuality research and education are discussed so 80% of women out there want you to knock it up. They want you to beat that thing in. They want you to crush that shit. They want you to be a barbarian caveman. Take charge and just rough them up, pull them hair, choke them. That's what they want, okay? Ain't no such thing as a woman who don't want that. 
They want that. I'm giving you the numbers. Okay? I'm giving you the numbers. And they said 54.1 out of that 80% liked it very much. In other words, they loved it. The gangster dick with the pookie thrust. Now, look at here. Uh, oh, last um stat I gave you came from PubMed. I'm, I'm sorry. Now, here's a new stat. Another stat from the BBC. It says, slapping, choking, gagging, or spitting during consensual sex. Of those who have experienced any of these, they ask, how often did you feel pressured into it? 8% of women said, every time. 12% of women said, most times. 22% of women said, sometimes. 56% of women said, never. So your woman, she wants you to slap her, choke her, gag, or spit on her. I mean, not all of them want that in that order. But I'm trying to tell you, gentlemen, your woman is nastier than you would ever believe her to be. She's freaky nasty, right? There's a lot of things your woman have done to other men before you even came into the picture. There's things that your woman wants you to do to her that you're not doing because she want to act like she's too much of a good girl or she's too shy to talk about it. Okay? I'm just being real. So I'm, I got more stats, but I'm going to play another video. Though. I'm going to give you the rest of these stats to show you how much they want you to give them the, the gangster dick with the pookie thrust. They want you to be aggressive, man. There's no time to play when you in the cat, okay? Uh, I got so much to tell you. Hold on. Let me go, though. I'm going to put some more on uh, another video. Then we're going to go ahead and break that down. I'm going to put some more of these stats up here for you. Let's get it. There it is. I feel I'm sorry for these nice guys. Like, I really do. Like, do you really think that bitches don't fuck with nice guys because they're too nice? Like, bitches want guys to be nice to them. We want that. You think that we want bad boys because they're bad? No. No bitch wants a dude who's always in the streets and in trouble. Nobody wants that. The realization is we don't fuck with nice guys because nice guys can't fuck. You hear that? What did she just tell you? Nice guys can't hit it. That's what she just told you. She said they won't. And I, I see what she's saying. Now, before I put up these stats and stuff, because I'm about to put up some stats, and I'm going to tell you something. As men, we don't stay attracted to our woman as we did in the beginning. What I mean is, you may grow to love her. You might think she's bad and sexy. Okay, cool. But no man on this planet can tell me that if he's with a woman, the same woman for 30 years, that... After 30 years, he still feels as physically attracted to that woman as he was in the first day or first month. That first day or first week, you got to hit that woman pussy. You, you just happy about it. You, just, you want to tear it out the frame. What happens is we get used to these women. We become comfortable to these comfortable with these women. See, what women don't understand is, men, yeah, we still like to have freaky sex, but we desire closeness. So the proof of that, of what I'm saying is, when you look at who files all the divorces, it's the women. 80% for women who don't have a degree. 90% of women who have degrees file the most divorces, according to the American Sociological Association, right? That's because they don't get as close to the man as the man gets close to her. A man wants to keep his family. That's the children and the woman, okay? But that doesn't mean that we remain as sexually excited about you. We still will have sex with you. But it's not the, you get what I'm saying? If you're sleeping with the same woman for 50 years, you cannot tell me that now after 50 years, that 50 year old coochie that, that you've been with is just as excited as it was on day one or, first, or the first week you started hitting it. It don't happen like that. Okay? So that's what I wanted to say before I get into these um, statistics. I got some more for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna show you some good stuff now. Let's get it. Now, let me show you about BDSM. That's for people who do bondage, okay? People like to tie you up, handcuff you, whip you and stuff, humiliate you and stuff, and you get a nut out of it, okay? So basically, I want you to read my chart. It says, on the female side, for BDSM role, the blue is the sub. The sub is the one who is submissive. That's the one you can say, get on your knees, crawl over here, and suck this pipe, and do it now, and, and teabag and all that. That's what you could do to her. She want to be submissive to you. She wants you to take charge. She wants you to be aggressive. According to this chart, 76% of women in the BDSM community 
wants to do that to you, wants you to take over. In the orange, it's a switch. A switch is a woman who do both. She's a she could be a dominatrix or she could be the submissive person. The dominatrix is the one who gives you orders and make you crawl to her. Okay, sixteen percent are switches. The eight percent are the doms. That's the ones who are the dominatrix, the ones who tell you what to do. If you look at the the, the pie chart on the female side, you will see that almost eighty percent of women want the gangster dick. With the pookie thrust. That's what they want. That's exactly what they want. This is um another stat. Now I didn't talk about the male side because we're not talking about the man side. I'm talking about the woman side. But if you won't pause the video and look at it, now let me go to the other um other thing. Now according, excuse me. Oh, this bothers me. According to an article in Men's Health, it turns out that after polling more than four hundred thousand OK Cupid members. The dating website found that 62% of women enjoyed rough sex. Of members, we asked the question, do you prefer rough or gentle sex? 75% of men and 62% of women replied either rough or I enjoy both equally. The rest said they prefer gentle or skip the question. You, But you still got about over half of all the women on that particular dating site <coughs> saying they like the gangster dick with the pooky thrust. They want you to caveman that hoe. Okay? Now, according to the E-Times, they discovered that 62% of women enjoy rough sex. They took a separate poll for whatever they doing. 62%, man. Now, another poll. A pie chart. I'm going to read both of them this time. This tells you which, how much rough sex do the men or the women like. According to the men... 75% of men love some rough sex. That means when a woman want to choke in, stuff like that. Some of us like that stuff, aggressiveness. If we get that, 25% said no on the men's side. Now, look at the women's side. How many women like rough sex? You know, the gangster dick with the pookie thrust. 62% loves it. 38% doesn't. The numbers don't lie, y'all. Now, read this. It says... They didn't know the poll little thing. While being controlled and getting their hair pulled, the hair pulled, top the list. Now that top the list. A woman, women want to be controlled and they wanted their hair pulled. That top the list of the behaviors that they wanted to come from a man. They want you to be savage in that sack with them. Savage in the bed. It said other behaviors that women like during lovemaking include being tied up, dirty talking, and being bitten. Man, bite on that woman neck sometime in her ears, man. That's what Pookie doing. To your woman right now while you watch this video. Anyway, it says, also in this one, interestingly, 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 sorry, a large number of women, almost 60%, revealed that they get turned on when their partner takes control during sex. Now, we're going back to bondage again. Now, this is a different survey. This comes from the OK Cupid survey about women who like the bondage thing. I'm using bondage to let you know that your girl is not fragile as a flower petal. She wants you to dominate her. I ain't saying bend her over and hit in the back of the head with a fucking cleat or something like that to get your point across. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying give it to them. Now, it says that when it came into bondage with their survey, the men like 64%. Men like to be tied up and shit too. On the women's side, of bondage at this particular survey it said that 51 percent of women likes bondage now that doesn't have to be bdsm this is just being well i guess it is a part of that community but this is like more of a soft uh almost vanilla type of bondage you get what i'm saying yeah so what i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen excuse me what i'm telling you is stop being a nice guy in the sack all right don't be a beta male in bed now, like I've learned that myself because when I try to get out the streets, I, you know, I get with a woman and I start getting kind of comfortable stuff like that. That same passion, it kind of deplete. And another thing, sometimes a man don't want to fuck a woman because she's stressing them the fuck out too. That's another thing. It ain't just women. Cause women say, I don't want to be touched either because I don't like him. He's stressing me out. Men go through that same thing too. If you are just stressing him the hell out, always complaining and stuff, you make his pipe limp. He ready to go put that in somebody else. You get what I'm saying? I, want, I just want to throw that out there. Now, stop hitting these women 
gently. Let me clear that up. I don't mean violence, okay? When I say teabag them, you know what I mean? Rub your sack all across them. And I'm going to tell you something. You'll be surprised of how many women you're dealing with secretly want you to do that. They just don't want to ask you to. Women don't like to ask you to do certain things in the bedroom. They just want to assume that you know to do everything right, okay? So that's what I'm trying to tell you. I know y'all getting ready for Valentine's Day, so when you grab that hoe, become super caveman, and be sure to give her the um the gangster dick with the pookie thrust, and let me know in the comments how it worked out for you. Did she love you for it? Why do you think they used to call this stuff getting their minds right and getting their attitude right? And say, like, I'm going to have to go change. I'm going to go fix her attitude right now. I know what you need. Yeah, I'm going to fix your attitude. It was talking about the gangster dick with the pookie thrust. It wasn't about no damn Brad Pitt making love on a movie and saying, oh, babe, yeah, uh, uh, I'm going to kiss all of you. No, no, you want that. That's what he wanted. That's what she wanted. Now, there are some women that like foreplay, but I'm going to tell you from my own personal experience, if she is madly attracted to you, you don't have to do no foreplay. That's why I'm able to sleep with a lot of women on the first or second day. It don't really take me, like some guys, uh, weeks. I don't have to do that shit. I got to make sure that I do my game, right? But if she really, really attracted to you, man, you don't even got to take out the dinner. She's just going to think that's going to happen, but she want to give you to it down. She want to get straight to it. She don't really want you to uh, do the foreplay, all this that they shit they be telling you, kiss all up. You can, though. Some women are like that. If you got that kind of woman, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and give her the foreplay if that's what she needs. You know what I mean? Spit start the coochie, whatever you want to call it. But whenever it's time for the give her, say it with me, the gangster dick with the pookie thrust. Thank me later. <laughs>